All right, team, this is a three-part video series for this session. Hi, team. Me again. Sun's in my eyes. However, I have a sprint workout for you. Some interval training, hill sprints. Grab your trainers, grab a child, grab a partner, grab a sibling, get to a hill. Hi, team. Going to do a little sprint workout today. But first, we need to get warmed up, stretched, activated, make sure we don't hurt ourselves. I'm going to start off with a stretch. I've done this one in my classes. It's just, I don't know what to call this stretch. It's just a really good hip opener stretch. Some people call it world's greatest stretch. It might be the world's greatest stretch, but I can't prove that. So we're just going to sit in here. And we're going to hold it for 40 seconds on each side. We'll pretend that I've got to 40. And then I'm going to change it over. I'm gonna make sure on this exercise that I'm squeezing my glutes, okay? I wanna keep the shoulder blades back, I wanna keep my chest up, and I wanna keep my spine nice and neutral. If you come to the side and have a little film, my posture from the side, you notice my glutes are squeezed, my chin's tucked, my spine's in one long straight line, okay? When we finish that, we are going to come up to like a more upright position. I'm gonna grab my back foot, make sure you're doing this on grass or find a pad if you're on gravel. Um, and then I'm gonna pull my, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes, push my hips through, lift my chest, and then I'm gonna pull my quad nice and tight and I'm gonna stay in here for another 40 seconds. Then I'm gonna change sides, do exactly the same on the other side, okay? So that's the front nice and opened out, okay? We need to activate our glutes, activate our hamstrings. Um, I think we're gonna do a glute bridge, just nice and simple. I think to start with, we're going to do 10 normal glute bridges. Making sure our feet are nice and pressed into the floor. We're not arching our lower back too much. And we're squeezing those bum cheeks together nice and tight. Then we're going to move it into a single leg glute bridge. Exactly the same principles apply. Use your core to stabilize because you're going to want to fall off that way. And we're going to change legs, do another 10. Then from that position, you're going to go into some hamstring walkouts. And then just walk back in, walk them out, walk them back in. Do 10 reps of that. And to finish off, we're just going to make sure we've stretched our hamstrings out a little bit as well. People pull those when they're running. So we're going to keep a nice neutral spine. Tuck one leg in. As you can see here, it's kind of bent and tucked in. So my foot is flat on my thigh. Then I'm just going to reach, providing I can keep a straight spine. I'm going to reach and I'm going to touch my toe. If you can't, you can hold your calf or your shin here. Okay, 40 seconds. Then I'm going to switch over, do another 40 seconds, making sure I keep a nice neutral back again. Okay, and I think that concludes the first part of our warm up. We're going to now move into some dynamic movement based exercises. See you in a minute. All right, guys, second part of the warm up. We're going to get a bit more dynamic with it. So the first exercise I'm going to do is just a high knee pull. I'm just going to be walking through, pulling my knee up nice and high, making sure I'm not rotating my pelvis too much, my glutes are staying on, using my core to stabilize, and just continue all the way through to the other side. And then we're going to do a high knee on the way back, okay? So nice and fast, as little time on the floor as possible. When we're doing these, I want you to try and imagine you're taking a thousand steps in one yard. So you're staying on the same spot, trying to get a few toe touches in, in each kind of little, little yard block, right? So then we're going to move into a high knee lunge. So we're going to come through up on a high knee and walk through. We're not stepping through. So we're going to come from that lunge all the way through into our next one, using our running mechanics with our upper body as well, making sure our arms stay at 90. And then we're gonna do another high knee on the way back, pumping your arms, making sure they stay at 90, taking as many steps as you can. Next exercise we're going to do 
is just to get kind of our thoracics twisting. I'm not actually sure what it's called. It's uh, karaoke, that's what it's called. So crossing the feet over. So as my feet cross, my shoulders twist. So cross my feet over, then cross the over foot back. Getting our thoracics nice and warmed up. Getting our abs a bit switched on. Then we're just gonna jog it back. Next exercise, lateral lunges. So what we're gonna do on these lateral lunges, we're gonna go sideways down our little coned out area. If you haven't got cones, not the end of the world. You can use literally anything, okay? As long as you recognize that marker, then it's fine. What we're gonna do, we're gonna lunge out. We're gonna use our glute meds. We're gonna use our little glute muscles on the side. We're gonna come down, we're gonna find a stretch here. Then we're gonna come back up. Take another step, another lunge. And we're gonna continue. And then you're gonna kick your bums on the way back. Don't hold your hands on your bum. Use proper running arms. Make sure you kick your bum with your heel. Next exercise in the warm up. It's just gonna open the gate. Each side, straight up. So we're straight up, open it out, stay facing forwards, and then back to walking. Open it up, keeping my chest and eyes forwards. I'm gonna close the gate on the way back. Okay, team, last exercise in our warm up is going to be just some leg swings. I'm gonna come in, hit a little quad stretch, swing that leg through. Come in, hit a little quad stretch, and swing that leg through. And then we're just gonna jog it back. That's our warm up done. I think we're ready to do some All right, sprint. we're all warmed up now. Go to video two for the full session, the main session. All right, guys, got some cones here. They are really small cones, to be fair. But I've got some cones. Nevertheless, if you've not got cones, get creative. Use anything, anything bright colored, jumper, I don't know, socks, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my first marker where I want everything to start, where I want the pain to begin. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jog 10, 15 strides. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's where you're gonna put your second marker, okay? Then I'm gonna do the same again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's where I'm gonna put my second marker. I'm gonna do the same again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's where my third mark is gonna go. If you wanna do more, you can do more. I'm just gonna do three today because I'm lazy. Um, yeah, enjoy. So I've set out my three cones. From the first cone to the second cone, you're gonna do 10 reps. Don't take too much rest in between. Take 20 seconds, then go again for your second rep. 20 seconds, third rep, and so on. The second cone we go to, we're gonna be doing eight repetitions, okay? Then you're gonna take your, your 20 seconds rest, turn back around and go for your second rep, etc., and follow on, so on and so forth, right? Third, furthest distance, right, the third cone, we're gonna do six reps, take your 20 seconds rest. Then if you wanna go back through that lot again, you can, you don't have to, I'm not going to. Um, yeah, just film me doing my bike. Right, guys, I'm about to start my first 
short distance sprint, my first of 10. I'm gonna start at a three point stance. Make sure I'm on my toes. Make sure I'm bracing my core when I'm running, lifting my knees nice and high. Hugh's gonna give me the countdown. Three, two, one. Okay team, you're gonna pause the video now and you're gonna complete your 10 reps of your short distance sprints. Three, two, one. Still using that walk for my active recovery. That was my last one of the shortest distance. What you're going to do now is you're going to take two minutes rest, time it. You're going to take two minutes rest and then you're going to move into the next distance along. It's going to be slightly harder, but you are doing less reps. You're going to feel more blowy. Enjoy. Okay team, you're now going to pause the video and you're going to complete your eight reps of middle distance sprints. All right team, I've actually been racing with my brother to add a little uh, competitive element in there. It does make you work harder. So if you can get any of your family members, ready Hugh? If you can get any of your family members on it, go! <laughs> oh, I got one hand! <sighs> yeah, as I was saying, if you can get any of your family members on it, get your kids involved, I'm sure they'll give you a run for your money. It's, uh, yeah, adds a little bit of motivation. Gets you working hard. He's sad. So he's walked away because I beat him. However, I'm going to take my timed two minutes rest and then I'm going to move into my final distance. That's the full distance, the furthest cone you set away. Make sure you work hard on these ones. It'll be easy to coast them because they're the hardest ones. But make sure you go as hard as you possibly can. You're here. You might as well get it done. One thing to remember guys is keep your technique good even when you're tired. So even if you have to slow down a little bit, but get that good technique, lifting the, the, hip, the knee nice and high, using your arms, keeping your core on, you don't want any thrashing around like this. What you wanna do is you wanna keep everything nice and linear, nice and crisp, nice and choppy. Use your glutes, put the camera down to my feet quickly. How your feet want to be behaving on the floor is you want to be bringing it up through, cycling your leg over, and then pulling through in a scuffing motion like that. That's going to help propel you forwards and give you more speed. Little technique tip. Okay team, you are now going to pause the video and complete your six reps of your furthest distance of the hill sprints. Well done team, hope you're puffing. You've completed your first round of long distance sprints if you're gonna do two. If you're only gonna do one, congratulations. All right team, just finished my last long distance sprint. I'm about to get some water on board, make sure I stay hydrated after my session. I'm gonna have a nice little meal. Before those two things, I'm gonna make sure that I stretch out my quads, stretch out my hip flexors, probably give hamstrings and glutes a good going over as well. Make sure you're stretching for 40 seconds to a minute. And, uh, okay team, you've completed your main session. Tune into video three for our warm down and stretch. One final thought from me team, it's always a really good idea to spin off or walk somewhere for a little bit for five minutes or so after you've done your sprints or your running you should walk down if you like it's like a cool down it just helps flush all the lactic acid and not good stuff out of your muscles replenish with the new blood um yeah and it'll just help your soreness the next day Forty-second quad stretch do both sides. I'm going to just do a forward fold for the hamstrings. Forty seconds on that one. 
Last one for the glutes. Jump on your back. Foot across, reach through. Grab your knee. Tuck your chin, back nice and flat. Stretch those glutes. Last but not least, it's gonna really hurt my knee. For you guys, I'll do it. Hip flexors, really important after you run to do your hip flexors. Mine are really sore right now, I haven't run in a long time. I haven't done much running in a long time. Really make sure you focus on this, very important. Okay team, you're going to complete two rounds of, that, of this stretching routine. Make sure you hold your stretches for 40 seconds to a minute. It's really gonna help your soreness tomorrow. Um, and it's gonna make sure you don't seize up and tighten up into a bad posture. Cheers, catch you in the next video.